The standby flight instruments are located on the forward panel. They include a standby attitude indicator, a standby airspeed indicator, a standby magnetic compass is located on the center post above the glare shield. Each of these standby indicators use a flat panel liquid crystal display. It is the same type as the other six display units, only smaller. These instruments provide a standby source of critical information in the event of primary display system failure. The standby attitude indicator is powered by the center flight control DC bus. The SARU sends pitch and bank information to the standby attitude indicator. Attitude is the only information provided by this instrument. The standby airspeed indicator is powered by the left flight control DC bus. Two air data modules calculate the airspeed. These dedicated air data modules receive information from the center pitot probe and the standby static system. The standby airspeed indicator has a digital display and a pointer for relative position. Display the standby airspeed bug by pushing the standby airspeed bug selector. A digital display in the upper left corner shows the selected reference airspeed. The associated bug appears along the scale. Turning the standby airspeed bug selector sets the bug to the desired speed. Set the bug to 145 knots. Remove the standby airspeed bug from the display. The left flight control DC bus also powers the standby altimeter. The static system air data module provides altitude information to the standby altimeter. The standby altimeter also has a pointer and a digital display. The selected barometric reference is displayed in hectopascals and in inches of mercury. Pushing the standby barometric selector toggles between standard pressure and the last selected barometric pressure. Display standard pressure. Turning the standby barometric selector sets the desired reference. Now set the standby barometric selector to 1017 hectopascals, which is 3004 inches of mercury. The standby magnetic compass is the liquid type and is internally lighted. A deviation card is located below the compass. Now let's discuss the airplane clocks. The clocks are located on the left and right forward panels. The internal clock in Ames is updated from the GPS satellites. To display universal time, the time date selector is set to UTC. You cannot set the UTC time. Occasionally, you may have equipment fail on the airplane. When the DSP fails, the CDU may be used to control the displays. Display the menu page. The menu page connects the CDU to the FMC and SATCOM. The menu page also provides access to the CDU pages that back up the DSP. Turn on the DSP control on the CDU. Now display the Display Modes page. The MFD switches are backed up by their respective prompts on the CDU. The display switches are also backed up by a set of prompts.
The other three keys have respective backups as well. The Synoptics switches have prompts on a separate page. Select Synoptics. The MFD Display Select prompts are displayed again. The overhead panel Synoptic switches are displayed in order from top to bottom on the right. The other Synoptic switches are also displayed. This prompt returns you to the Display Modes page. Turn off CDU control of the displays. Control of the displays is returned to the repaired DSP. Use the CDU to display the air synoptic on the left inboard display.